Space ports aren't the only locations working to make space tourism a reality. Once you get up there, where exactly would you stay? Thomas Hoppe found a space hotel that is set to open very soon. Designing the world's first space hotel, it'll have gravity, full working kitchens, bars, and more. The senior design architect says eventually going to space will be just like going on a cruise. This is The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Also, also on tonight's show, there's a hotel in space. If you're searching for a vacation that's totally out of this world, well, we've got some good news for you. And if you want a hotel room with a view, how about booking a room in the world's first space hotel? It's a cruise ship style luxury hotel that will rotate in space. Now, if you are looking to book a trip that is out of this world, there is a Southern California company that's hoping to help you fulfill your dream, but you're going to have to leave Earth to get there. Yes. Well, we're talking about lots of interesting things. That's why you're watching, right? <laughs> Star Trek boldly went where no one had gone before. And we're going to do the same from the comfort of the new set. A look at some of the latest space tech. Warp speed. In the near future, you may vacation here, a space hotel. This rotating wheel includes 24 modules in orbit. Rotating simulates gravity. Organizers hope to get the hotel off the ground by 2025, making it fully operational in 2027. So book it. Our space station is going to be the first commercial space station with artificial gravity. So the station works pretty much like a bike tire. We're going to have spokes coming down to a central hub, and that's where the spaceships will dock, zero gravity and then it rotates. And so the rotation creates that artificial gravity on the perimeter. This is where people will be living on the outside, the perimeter edge. And I love the fact that in the marketing, you know, they highlight this, they say, we'll have gravity, which, uh, which is just a really cool thing to hear in a, gra in a, in a pitch for something. We'll have yes. gravity. We'll have gravity. <laughs> it's like a, a, good it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature. Gravity. I always artificial think. gravity is something that does seem like science fiction, but the science is sound and designers will be using technology from the International Space Station. NASA built the International Space Station with just a few tools. Uh, one of them was the Canada arm that we often see in the videos. It's, it's the arm that's the, the one thing that we want to adopt in our space construction designs and schemes and so forth. Are you guys going to be on, are you guys going to be among the 100 people? Here we go, 625, time for the stories that are trending now. There are plans for a hotel that's literally out of this world. Here we go, a California company releasing plans for a cruise ship style hotel in space. Time to jump on the shuttle, right? The Organizers want the hotel to have cozy suites, chic bars, 
Architects say patrons will be able to do all kinds of things that aren't possible on Earth because of reduced gravity. We'll leave what goes out of your imagination. <laughs> oh, my word. All righty. And uh, that's bad. Renee, why are you laughing? What did you think I was referring to? Oh, I wasn't. I'm sorry. What did you say? Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. The amenities will include restaurants, movie screenings, low-gravity basketball, and rock climbing facilities. The company hopes to get it off the ground in 2025. Wait, did they say there's going to be a movie theater? SpaceX is developing the Super Heavy and the Starship platform. And our projections are showing that the price per ticket is going to be getting incrementally and potentially exponentially lower as time goes on. To where right now it might be cost prohibitive for most people, but in a few short years it's going to be just a commonplace thing that people do. As soon as Starship is ready to launch and is going orbital, we want to be one of their first customers and in launching into orbit. And we're, we're just getting ready to build now. That's the next step, is uh, take these plans and these designs and make it reality. People, we're gonna have a hotel, restaurant, bar, gymnasium. Loop. The floors actually are curved. But, but big picture, we're trying to build out a space industry. We want to have multiple stations in space, space tours on going to the moon, going to Mars, going to other stations. And from just a humanity standpoint, having hundreds of people being able to go up to space and look back on Earth and just understand that we're all sharing this small little blue marble, I think that's gonna have a profound impact on humankind.